Hi guys, good afternoon. I wanted to come on here and talk about how we can be disciples of Christ in the last days. You know, what did Jesus and his disciples do? And I wanted to go over also uh, being a soldier for Jesus. They kind of go, you know, hand in hand. So I've got several verses. And the reason I'm making this video is because this is really a prophetic week that we're going to have next, well, week and a half, week, week and a half. You know, you have tomorrow is the uh, Israeli uh, elections and you have Iran threatening the U.S. and Israel and vice versa. And many, many things are going on with that. You have the peace plan that should be coming out pretty soon. And we have the two-year anniversary of the Revelation 12 sign. We also have the, I do believe, UN summit meeting about climate change. And then we also have um, 70 nations coming to Israel to make a sacrifice on the Mount of Olives, which is not good. I mean, that's just, you know, Jesus Christ paid the price so we wouldn't have to do things like that. And so... Uh, like I said, it, it's just, it's going to be crazy next week, week and a half. And I just wanted to come on here and talk about what we can do in the last days um, to bring people to Jesus Christ. Because, guys, the rapture is going to happen soon, sooner than we think. And we need to be prepared uh, and always watching. I'm not going to set a date on this channel, but we are going to be watching, always watching for our Lord uh, to come take us. So I wanted to start with Matthew 28, 19 and, through 20. <clears throat> and actually, I'm going to start with 18. Jesus said unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to, to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. Amen. And so next I want to go to Mark. Oops. Um, Mark 16, 15, verse 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So this is Jesus. This is what Jesus expects from his disciples. And we are his disciples. So let's go to Acts 1, 8. Let's see. Acts 1, 8. But ye shall receive power after that. The Holy Ghost is to come upon you, and he shall be witnessed unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the utmost part of the earth. So the Holy Spirit came to the disciples after Jesus ascended to the right hand of his father after he was resurrected. We have the Holy Spirit. We have the power. We have all the power, you guys. Um, Satan, Satan can't get to us. He can try and he can make things difficult. But with Jesus Christ on our side, with the Holy Spirit, we can beat him. He is nothing. Satan is nothing and he knows it. Because he knows scripture. He knows what the word says. And he knows how to twist it. To benefit him. John 15. 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit. And that your fruit should, be, should remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may, be, he may give it to you. We got to plant seeds, guys. We, we have to be fruitful and share the, the gospel, the good news. Okay, let's go to Matthew 4. And I will read 19 and 20. 
Whoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men, so he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever shall do and teach them the same shall be great in the kingdom of heaven. So we must, don't, we must be true, be truthful and share God's true word. Okay? And it says, and I also want to say, come follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. At once they left their nets and followed him. At once they followed him without question. I know for some people it is hard to speak. I am very, I'm a very social person, but it's hard. Sometimes it's hard for me to speak God's word in public. I get kind of nervous sometimes. And I'm grateful that I was led to make a channel. So however you're comfortable spreading God's word, do it. The Holy Spirit will give you the right words to say. We are in the last moments before Jesus comes for his bride. Have courage and spread the gospel today because the Father is always with you. The other thing I wanted to talk about was being a soldier for Jesus and, and you know keeping your armor on, being strong for him. So let's go to 2 Timothy. Just a second here. Okay, 2 Timothy 2, 1 through 8. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. And if a man can also strive for masteries, yet is he, yet is he not crowned, except he will strive lawfully. The husbandman, the lat laboreth, must be first partaker of the fruits. Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel. We must be brave. We are protected by the word of God. Ephesians 6.13 Whoever take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and have done all to stand. <clears throat> we can fight against evil, you guys, because Satan has nothing on us. He has nothing. He doesn't even have, he has no leg to stand on, as the saying goes. Let's go to Psalms 1839. For thou hast girded me with strength into the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. For you are equipped with me with strength for the battle. You're, we're equipped with God's word. That's our armor, you guys. <clears throat> John 16, 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. We all have our tribulations. We all have our downfalls. We all fall from, you know, grace and, and sin sometimes. We're, we're human. You know, I have, I have anxiety and I am on medication for it. And it helps me. A lot. So I'm grateful for that. Never be ashamed of things like that. You know, like I said, we're only human. We are only human, but we have Jesus Christ. And he overcame the world, and we can too. First Peter 
113. Therefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober and hope to the end of, for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Be sober-minded and hope for the grace. It, everything is going to work out in the end. Another saying, you know, you hear that from your parents. Oh, everything will work out in the end. And it's true because Jesus Christ is going to come for his bride. We're going to be raptured. Uh, the church will be raptured. And, you know, you're on the winning team. Jesus Christ is the winning team. We will win. Joshua 1 9. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and have good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee wherever thou goest. He's with you. The Lord is always with you. Our weapon is God's word. Sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am so grateful to be filled with the Holy Spirit. We must repent and help others to repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Time is short. We need to share God's good news today. Time is short, guys. We have got to get his word out there. So be brave. Have courage. Jesus loves you so much. We are at an all-time rapture watch this next couple weeks we really are and if jesus doesn't come that gives us even more time to win people to jesus christ win souls for jesus christ so do not despair you know don't give up don't get discouraged we have the word and we have each other brothers and sisters i love you all very much and i will make another video soon god bless